What's up, everyone? My name is KCA Ocelot, and welcome back to The Walking Dead Season 1. So, I am back playing. Uh, hopefully, I think right now I'm supposed to be getting Jackass over here, uh, his pills. So, um, and I also believe I'm supposed to be getting, yep, yeah, that's right. Get some food for some people. All right. So, we got the, the candy bar. Uh, can I, I can search in here, Looks right? Like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. Assholes. Gosh. Um, is that a, no, that's not anything. Um, let's see. No, I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead guards. <laughs> Lee, you're so funny. Uh, we can't I know there's more of these candy bars. Let's see. No, hon. Oh. There we go. There's one. All right. And let's see if I could find another one here. Could have swore there's like three, but I may be wrong. And give me one second just to kind of check around, just, just to make sure. To back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our damnedest. Um. Is there really only two? That sucks. Oh, well, I already know I'm giving one to Clint. Oh, aha! Candy bar off the ground. Not too bad. Just wipe it off. You could eat it. All right. So I'm gonna give one to Clint. Not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. Going to. I know I don't like him. I hate him. But we're gonna give one a duck, just Try because I got a soft spot for, I with those for kids. Things. It's not much, but here, for the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. Sweet Lee. Yeah. All right, and then who else am I gonna give one to? Uh, I'll talk to Doug real quick. Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. Mmm. Not uh, sure. Let's go have a look around. Cool. And we'll keep it down. Don't need to bring them back this way with any unnecessary noises. Agreed. I mean, they're gonna see you. That's kind of unnecessary. A lot of dead people. Mm. Yummy. They just eat. As far as I can tell, that's all they care about. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. Mm -hmm. Look at the one trapped over there. Better him than us. Oh, oh shit. shit. What? Do you know that guy? Kind of, he has a familiar face. Oh, you're from around here, huh? Could be anybody, you know. They start rotting and get all chewed up and... Shut up, dog. Look at the uniform, though. He could have worked at the drugstore and died with keys in his pocket. It would take a lot of effort to make it safe enough to go out there and see if he has the keys. If we could somehow prove that he worked here, I think it'd be worth it. I'll see what I can find. Alright. <clears throat> can we go back in now? Let's head back inside. Okay. I don't think I'm quite ready for this part yet. Gotta do some more sleuthing. 
some more inspecting. All right. Uh, uh. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and give Carly. Here, I wouldn't find it some stuff to eat. Oh, um, uh, thanks. You're welcome. Are you sure your girl doesn't need it? She's good. I've been trying to keep her fed and watered. You're a good caretaker. Thanks. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. Mm-hmm. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me, and I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. Yeah. What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. Mm-hmm. Nothing. There we go. Let's turn this thing around. There are no batteries in this thing. What now? <laughs> you know that there are no batteries in that thing. Yeah, of course. I mean, totally. Yeah. No. I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. I mean, batteries is kind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Uh, examine the box. I got a chance no. to donate anything before this all went down. Okay, let's see. Where are them batteries? Where are them batteries? Where are them batteries? It's all over the place. I don't need to talk to you. Don't like you. Um. I know there's somewhere around here. Aha! Got the batteries. This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. Looks like it probably wouldn't, but okay. Hey, Carly. Oh, do I gotta find two? You Never better mind. get back to it. Yep. Forgot it that I had to find two. All right. Um. Examine photograph. Look at this photograph. Okay. Mm-hmm. Hey, Lee. You really gave that old man hell. Yeah. We got pushed, you know? You don't have to tell me. I was ready to tear the man's head off. Anyway, we, Kat and I, appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. Are you guys all right? Oh, we're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? They, uh, own this place. They're, uh, gone. Oh, sweetie. Cat. They were good people. I wasn't around much, but yeah, they did. I Lee, don't even know how ducks You got go. a second? Sure. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. We didn't even try to save him. That blood is on our hands, you know? We let that boy die. I know, man. I know. It wouldn't have taken much. That's what I keep thinking. I keep seeing his face. <laughs> Man, look at me. 
I don't know if I can carry this. What else is there to do? That's right. Don't be a bitch, Kenny. Don't be a bitch. All right. Let's see. Let's get it. Oh, shit. I can't. I can't think about them in here. All right. Let's see. Move this. It's a stick. Don't get him with that whooping stick. What's that? This was my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, uh, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you really had. My dad gave it to me. See, dads are smart like that. Told you it was a whooping stick. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. <sighs> How are you doing? Yeah, it's not that heavy. How about with everything outside? It's not good. No, it's not. But I think it'll be okay. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Her face. Do you so have cute. kids? No. You don't have a family? Let's not talk about that. Do you play sports? I play soccer, but I don't really like it. I'm not crazy about it either. All right, a little further. Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? I hope not. It's just complicated, that's all. Why? It just is. But you love them, right? Yeah, of course. But my family's gone, and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I'm not a bad guy, okay? Things happen, and we didn't talk much after that. My parents don't talk to me when I get in trouble. I can relate. moments oh no are you okay i hurt my finger is it bleeding a little i'll find you a bandage hold on one second sweetie i'll get you all fixed up let's have a look at that finger Let's see if we can do something about it. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. All right. Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? They'll, uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. We should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? It's the remote to my dad's TV. 
grab that remote. Gotta get it. Okay. Thought there was a battery back here, but I may be mistaken. Find anything? It's a photo of the family who owned this place. It might help us track down the keys to the office. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks Jesus. around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? No, I've been sticking to first names for a reason. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. You best do that. Thanks. Don't worry about it. Right. Um, let's see. Where would I look for a battery? All right. Come on, Clem. Want to head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I, uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? Oh, was he bad? He was. All right. Okay, okay, okay. Come on, I gotta find this battery. Aha! Convenient. All right. Battery. And here's another one. Should be able to get it to work now. Hey there. It's still not working? Yeah, I can't figure it out. Let me have a look at that thing. Go ahead. Hey there. Uh, this is Glenn, and, uh... I'm kind of in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie or whatever? This is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I uh, uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group, and a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn. We're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? Awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do... Somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. Why did it not let me fix the radio? I don't know. Let me have a look at that thing. Go ahead. Thanks. Am I going to get another call that makes it so I can't look at it now?
flip it on over. You fixed it. Continues to spread unchecked. Sure. The death toll continues to skyrocket. WABE urges you to stay indoors and avoid any contact with individuals you suspect may have been exposed. The station is okay. In the event of a full... Uh, my, my producer's telling me we have to get off the air. Steve. Uh -oh. mm. Alright, well, before everything kicks off, because I know everything is about to, uh, I'm going to go ahead and call this episode right here. Uh, I know I didn't get a lot done. I got a few things, a little bit of the story progressed, but um, I'm going to call it right here. And, uh, yeah, so I really, really hope that you enjoyed. And I am going to be doing two episodes today, so um, hopefully in the next one, everything goes down. It's all going to start kicking off. So, uh, all right, so until next time, I will see you all later.